research is focused on developing complex materials for technological applications. And by complex material, we, can, we either mean materials that have multiple interactions, multiple functions that they have to perform, or materials that have to function in a very complex environment. Two examples that we're currently focused on are additives for cement and concrete. These additives are supposed to improve workability and uh, performance of the cement. The other area that we're focused on right now is materials for 3D printing and additive manufacturing. We have stringent requirements for the workability uh, or processability of the material as well as its final properties. So our approach in designing these materials actually uses machine learning. So one tool that we've developed for designing these materials is a new machine learning algorithm. The algorithm is designed to work for complex physical systems where you have very small data sets and it allows us to both understand how these materials work but then also allows us to optimize their performance. My collaborator and I have started a company to commercialize the algorithm and we're currently working with our first customer in industrial applications of it. Uh, so we should see some of the results from this in the next year. In the work in cement and concrete, the additives that we're developing both allow us to design materials but then also use feedstocks that are more sustainable, that have a better uh, sustainability profile. For the 3D printing project, the materials and the technologies that we're developing will allow us to optimize the 3D printing of entire organs where we are using a complex mixture of components, some materials and cells, uh, and printing very complex objects with them. The overall goal of our research is really to design materials for function and not just composition, leveraging our understanding of both the synthesis, characterization, and testing the material, but also our underlying understanding of the fundamental physics and chemistry of how these materials work. To do this, machine learning has become a powerful tool that we use in our research, and we're continuing to explore it. Thank you.